determine your offer. Once you get a customer, you will get, you'll have to determine how much you are going to offer him for his goals. I'm going to explain how to make an offer in this section. The offer you will make depend on the item you receive. With in mind, I'm going to cover items with a good retail value, engagement rings, scrap gold, and dental gold. You might notice that these categories overlap. Engagement rings fall into category of items with a good retail value, just as dental gold falls into the scrap gold category. Even though these items overlap, they are unique. Thus, I created separate categories so I can go over those items in greater detail. Items with a good retail value Items with a good retail value are worth more than their weight in gold. Because of that, I recommend that you pay 100% of spot price for these items. Then you can turn around and sell them for much more. Engagement ring while engagement rings are items with a good retail value, they are really in a class of their own. Guys are constantly looking for good deals on engagement rings. Basically, they want to get their girlfriend the ring of her dreams, but they don't have tens of thousands of dollars to spend. Thus, if someone brings in a nice engagement ring, pay 100% of the spot price. You might also want to give the customer some extra money for the diamond. You can call the local pawn shops to find out what they pay for a carrot, and then you can pay a little bit more. If you do this, it's a good idea to get diamond testers so you can make sure the diamonds are real before you buy them. Scrap Gold You'll see more scrap gold than anything else. Scrap gold refers to items that are only worth their weight in gold. In most cases, you will pay 40-50% to of the spot price for scrap gold. You can pay a little more or a little less depending on the gold. For instance, if someone brings in an electronic item, you can pay less since the gold will be harder to extract. On the other hand, if someone brings in a lot of 18k gold jewelry, you can pay a little more. Also, as you build relationships with your customers, you may pay them more. That way, they will come back to you each time they want to sell gold. Then sell gold. While dental gold is technically scrap gold, it is of higher quality than most scrap gold. Because of that, you will want to pay a little more. If you can set up a bulk bill with the dentist, offer to pay 70% of crap price. If you want to go for it, you can bump it up to 75%. Now you know how to price gold, but it's very important to understand that prices are not set in stone. You don't have to pay 50% of spot price for every piece of scrap gold that comes through your door. And you don't have to pay 70% of spot price for every piece of dental gold. You have option to evaluate each purchase individually and make a decision, as long as you don't advertise that you pay a specific amount.